I want a bike that I can ride just about anywhere. Commuting, city streets, gravel roads, or even a dirt trail. The Hanjo 3 does all of that. It's a road bike that can handle way more than just roads. No matter where you choose to go, the 2x9 Shimano drivetrain will keep you at speed, so both climbing and sprinting are no problem. You won't find any skinny, flat-prone tires here. The 700x37 seat tires roll fast through city streets and have aggressive cornering knobs so you can lay it over on dirt trails. Tough double wall rims keep you rolling for many miles and reduce the likelihood of flats on rough, potholed roads. The alloy fork is lightweight and provides snappy steering inputs when precise riding really counts. The traditional drop bar has limitless hand position options, and the Tektro mechanical disc brakes are reliable on and off-road. Best of all, the Hanjo 3 ships ready ride, so with just four assembly steps you can get to the trail and ride even sooner. Experience the Schwinn Fastback, a road bike that's nimble, agile, and smooth all wrapped into one. If you're entering the world of fitness riding, starting to experience longer group rides and need to keep up with the pack, or thinking about training for a century ride, the lightweight Schwinn Fastback is the perfect bike for you. Like any road bike, the Fastback line is designed to be comfortable and efficient on longer distance rides. The hallmark model is the Fastback Carbon. What used to be only accessible for elite race cyclists is now available for all riders. Imagine how it'll feel when you're part of the breakaway, putting time between you and the rest of the group. Lightweight, comfortable, and responsive, the Fastback Carbon features a Schwinn enlightened black label carbon frame and tapered steerer fork, full Shimano 105 11-speed drivetrain and brake set, and Alex R500 double wall rims with Kenda Criterium tires. The performance is built in, you'll instantly feel the lightweight efficiency in every pedal stroke. The Fastback 1 features a Schwinn Enlightened Platinum Hydroformed Aluminum Road Frame, lightweight carbon fork, and full Shimano 105 drivetrain. The Fastback 2 and 3 are also great options. Both are built with Schwinn Enlightened 3 triple-butted tubing and Schwinn Sport components. The Fastback 2 comes equipped with a Shimano Sora drivetrain, and the Fastback 3 comes with a Shimano Claris drivetrain. Both offer a complete, comfortable, ready-to-ride package that will provide you with years of cycling enjoyment. Each Fastback model is available in extra small to extra large frame sizes. You can ride confidently since you know and trust Schwinn quality. Enjoy the freedom of riding a Schwinn. A bike that is fast and comfortable isn't a myth. Our Women's Aaron 5 is built to best fit women riders. It has a shorter top tube, a more relaxed head tube angle, and female-specific bike parts, including the saddle, bar, and stem. The frame features endurance geometry called EPG. This design puts you in a more upright position to reduce fatigue without compromising performance for all day rides. The Aaron 5 has a hand-built monocoque carbon frame designed to be light and incredibly strong. This construction process is borrowed from our pro-level road bikes and results in an increased power transfer. Sculpted seat stays dampen road vibrations and closed circuit cable routing features clean lines that are DI2 compatible. The Aaron 5 rolls on stiff 12 millimeter through axles and head Flanders wheels. Head built these wider wheels to accommodate larger 28C tires. This provides a softer, more plush ride and offers a larger contact patch for more traction without significant drag. This top carbon endurance model comes with race level components, including a 2x11 Shimano Ultegra drivetrain, a carbon fork with a stiff tapered steerer tube, and Shimano's powerful hydraulic disc brakes to stop you no matter how steep the slope. All this wraps into a light, comfortable ride, making it a great jack of all trades road bike for everything from quick afternoon rides to multi-day charity events giving you all the speed you need without breaking your body. Assembly of your new bicycle begins by unpacking it from the box. The required tools for install are a number 4 and a number 5 hex or allen wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, a number 15 open end wrench. Step 1. Assemble the front wheel. Separate the front wheel quick release. Insert the quick release lever onto the hub. Put the spring on 
and then tighten the quick release nut. Make sure that the fork is in the right direction before continuing. Place the fork onto the axle, keeping the quick release lever on the left side. Then lock the wheel in place using the quick release. Step 2. Assemble the handlebar. Using the hex allen wrench, unscrew the bolts on the stem and remove the stem cover. Place the handlebar on the stem and screw the stem cover back onto the bike holding the handlebar in place. Before tightening the screws fully, center the handlebar assembly with a comfortable angle for the rider and then fully tighten alternating as you did earlier. Align the handlebars and front tire and tighten the stem screw securely. Step 3. Assemble the saddle seat. Adjust the seat height and position for the rider's comfort and tighten the quick release seat fastener. Step 4. Assemble the pedals. Place the correct pedals marked L or R onto the crank arm and rotate them using the open end wrench until tight. For L, rotate counterclockwise. For R, rotate clockwise. Step 5. Don't forget the reflectors. It will keep you safe when night cycling. For any issues regarding your Highland bicycle, such as speed change problems or disc friction problems, please watch other related videos from Highland. Let's take a look at how to assemble the 6KU Fixie. First, remove the bike and parts while saving the box. Then cut any zip ties or padding off the bike. Take the rear wheel and loop your chain around the cog or freewheel and secure the chain on the front chain ring before mounting. Then insert the rear axle between the dropouts and put tension on your wheel towards the rear of the bike while you tighten the axle nut. Now you can mount the bike on the edge of the box while you work on it. Now remove your stem faceplate using a 4mm hex wrench and mount your handlebars. But don't tighten it down too much yet, you'll have to adjust them later. While installing your seat post, make sure you add some grease where it will be inserted and on the seat post itself. Loosen the seat post clamp with a 5mm hex wrench then insert the seat post. Adjust it to your preferred height, then tighten securely. Remove your pedals from the accessories box and use your finger to work in some grease into the pedal threads. Make sure you install the pedal marked L on the non-drivetrain side of the bike. The left pedal is reverse threaded, so it goes in counterclockwise. The pedal marked R goes on the drivetrain side and threads in clockwise. After you thread each pedal by hand, tighten them securely with a 15mm pedal wrench. Take your front wheel and unscrew each axle nut until you have enough space to mount it on the fork. Now remove your bike from the edge of the box and set the fork on the front axle while securing it with a 15mm wrench. Once again, loosen the stem pinch bolts with a 5mm hex wrench. You need to make sure that your front wheel is lined up straight. After you've done this, you can re-tighten your stem bolts. Before riding your bike, loosen the stem faceplate and make sure your handlebars are in a comfortable riding position, 
After this is done, tighten the bolts in a cross pattern once again. Before riding, perform a safety check including proper operation of the brakes before going out and having fun on your new 6KU fixie.